Good afternoon, oil traders. It is 3.42 p.m. here on October 6th, and uh, we've got uh, just shy of 20 minutes left in market trading here prior to the close and prior to the end of the week. And it's been a red week for crude as we've fallen from nearly uh, $53 down to, well, we almost cracked below 49 into the 48s. Um, so quite dramatic um, kind of pullback from the highs. And uh, for the bears and I, this has been quite pleasant. Um, as I told you guys this morning ahead of the market open, um, my plan was to sell two or three short positions. I decided to sell three because we opened um, pretty attractively at about 49, just under 49.50. And uh, or actually just above 49.50, I held out for I don't know maybe five minutes or so before I managed to sell um, the three short positions at 49.48 for an average return of 2.67 percent and a profit of just over a thousand dollars at 10.31. Um, you can see that reflected on my tradingjournal.ca account right here. Um, there's a the uh, today's date October 6th for the sale date and I sold three positions going from yesterday's October 5th um, as well as the September 4th, 13th and 14th positions um, and here's the HOD uh, ticker price for the ETF. So this included the sale of the uh, short um, that I purchased yesterday off the highs um, and as well as two more shorts from last week. Um, and as also planned, I purchased long um, just after that sale at a little bit better price of uh, 49.45. Um, but I purchased uh, a rather small position, as you can see here from the portfolio page. It's only uh, not even 15% of the portfolio waiting on that one. Um, and it's in the red a little bit. Um, if I do a refresh here. Uh, right now we're trading at about 49.34. So if I do a refresh, it's down half a half a percent. Um, no, uh, 0 0.05 <laughs> percent. Um, so yeah, but I'm perfectly happy to hold on to that if it turns out that we drop farther down um, because of my waiting in the HOD position and HOD um, ETF, I should say. Um, I'm still very much weighted to the downside. Um, but I'm very happy to get back into a long position to have a little bit better balance in the portfolio. Um, as we did descend farther after my sale and after my purchase, we got to a low of 49.11 and um, I thought we might make an attempt to crack below 49, in which case I would have bought long again at a crude price of 48.85, um, slightly smaller position than I purchased initially, but that was the plan. Um, then of course we started to climb back up. We uh, touched as high as 49, uh, 48 on the bounce. Um, never got really higher than that and kind of settled in between those two points uh, where we are right now, 49, 34 ish. Um, but as we did go up, I was looking to repurchase the short, um, at least one short position at a crude price of 49.75. And although I didn't get either one of those targets hit today, um, that's not to say that we won't get there on uh, Tuesday because Monday, folks, um, the markets are closed here on uh, uh, for our Thanksgiving. So unfortunately, we're going to be sitting on the sidelines and just watching what happens, but we won't be able to trade. So I'll follow up with you guys over the weekend to do a review of this past week, um, which was a good one for the Bears and myself, um, and uh, kind of a forward looking ahead for the week short week um, next week. Um, let me know how you guys felt about today and, and this week past. You can hit me up down below in the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, results, performance, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back, like I said, over the weekend to do a week in review and ahead of trading open here on Tuesday um, at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Until then, good luck, happy weekend, and happy Thanksgiving to you Canadians. Cheers.